Okay, this video is the last rule of exponents. Uh, it's relatively new for a lot of people, so I want to bring up what um, we're talking about. When we're talking about um, um, radicals, the this symbol right here, this guy right here, that's the radical symbol. It doesn't mean to use square root. It means um, that you're taking a certain root. And inside here, there's usually a number. Where the n is, that's called the index. Most of the time, it's blank. That means it's a 2. But when there's a 3 or a 4 or a 5 or a 6, that's the cube root, the fourth root, the sixth root, whatever. Um, and then the stuff inside is called the radicand. So if you hear him use those words. But the, the big deal is, is that this is equal to a to the 1 over n power. Okay? So it says, what's the simplified form of each expression? Well, this is 125 to the 1 third power. Okay? And now if I wanted to do this with my calculator, I could literally just grab my calculator and I could go um, 125 to the 1 divided by 3 power. And if I do that, I get 5. So that's 5. Okay? And then now this one is the four this is the fourth root of 16. So that's 16 to the one fourth power. So if I want to do that again, I'm just going to grab my calculator. I'm going to go 16 to the 1 divided by 4 power. And I hit enter and I get 2. Okay? So those are the that's problem one. You saw me do it. Now I want you guys to try to do the got it. Pause the video and see if you got it. All right, let's look at problem number two. Converting to radical form. So what is 12a to the two-thirds power in radical form? Well, this is weird because it's 12 times a to the two-thirds power. So what you do here is you just say, okay, well, that's 12 times the cube root of a squared. Why? Because in that two-thirds power, how I like to think about it is if I take this and I take the nth root of a to the m. All right, it goes a and then the m is the numerator and the n is the denominator, if that makes sense. So it's 12 times the cube root of a squared, uh, cube root of a squared, or you can write it as 12 cube root a squared. Either one works. What is 64a to the 4 fifth in radical form? Now this one, you're going to go 64 to the 4 fifths power and a to the 4 fifths power, which really means the fifth root of 64a to the fourth. Okay? So pause the video uh, for problem number two and see if you got it. Now, let's uh, talk about converting to exponential form. So what is five, the fifth root of b cubed in exponential form? Well, what you do is you take b, and then that 3 is the numerator, and the 5 is the denominator. Literally that simple. What is the cube root of 27d to the fifth in exponential form? And it's a simplify, so that's giving you a hint. So how I would do this one is I'd say that's the cube root of 27 and times the cube root of d to the fifth, which is something you probably learned in geometry. So then this is 27 to the one-third power and d to the five-thirds power. So I'm going to grab my calculator, and I'm going to take 27 to the one-third power, and I get 3. So this is 3 times d to the five-thirds power. Make sense? I hope so. So why don't you uh, pause the video and um, try to do got it for uh, problem number three. Here is a problem solving. Um, here's, here's a word problem using biology. So you can estimate the metabolic rate of meta metabolic rate of a living organism based on body mass using Keebler's law. The formula R equals 73.3 times the fourth root of m cubed re relates the metabolic rate R measured in calories per day to body mass M measured in kilograms. What is the metabolic rate of a dog with a body mass of 18 kilograms? So there's a lot going on here. So when you look at this, this R formula, that's the most important thing. Okay, The R here measures the calories per day. All right, to a body's mass measured in kilograms. 
So what did they give us for this part? It says dog with a body mass of 18 kilograms. So what is that 18? Is that the R or is that the M? And hopefully you guessed it was the R. So we want to get the um, problem. You go R equals 73.3 times the fourth root of 18 to the third power. Now, if we're going to do this, then we can rewrite that as 73.3 times 18 to the three-fourths power. And that's all you do. You take 73.3. 73.3 times 18 to the 3 fourths power. And I get 64. So R is 6. What was it again? R is 60, 640.5. So 640. Point five, and that is calories per day. So what that means that um, a dog weighing 18 kilograms, which I don't know what a kilogram is, do you? Uh, 18 kilograms should take in 640.5 calories per day. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the next problem. All right, so um, we've completed all this stuff. So go on and do the lesson check. See, do you know how to do that? And if you do, do you understand it? And rate yourself. I look forward to seeing you in class real soon. And may the fourth.